Hey, Bryce, take a look at this for me. Another suicide note, Harv? I gotta be honest with you, because I'm your bro. And you, you're an important cog in the machine around here. See all these accolades? I didn't do that by myself. That was a team effort, Team Bryce. And you, you're my right lieutenant. I am? One of them anyway. The suicide thing, yeah, it's getting old. It was funny the first few times, but we need to find something more constructive for you to do in your spare time. In my spare time, I think about death. Never mind more constructive then. How about less morbid? Bryce, Tina's left me for good this time. I got nothing left to live for. So Julia left you, huh? Tina. And good riddance, I say. I've met Tina, haven't I? Mm. Don't be so hard on yourself. You gotta save some of that punishment for the lawyers when they take half of everything you own. There's two S's in hopelessness here. Ah, oh. I can't even write a decent suicide note. I'm useless. Oh, Harv, calm down. You're not useless. Remember that time we only had 50 cents for the vending machine, huh? Oh. I was on the ground for an hour. You almost called the fire department. But you still got the chips out, didn't you? Yeah. You still got determination. I know you do. You got fire. I've got no fire, Bryce. Are you kidding me? You stole it from the belly of the beast named Tina and you walked away alive, right? Oh, yeah. Now you tie up your shoelaces and you comb your hair. And let's get out there and sell some goddamn cars. Yeah. And Harv? You know that thing with the cream in my coffee that only you can do? Yeah. But that shit's all you, baby. Yeah, sure, Bryce, thanks. I'm leaving you, Kevin. I don't have time for this right now. And don't expect me to be here when you get home, because I won't be. Don't overreact. And what about last night? We made love. Last night we fucked. Think of it as a going away present. If you really want to sell cars like me, it really comes down to two factors. A, how much bullshit you can make up. B, how good you look doing it. It's all about telling the customers what they want to hear, but putting on a show at the same time. You're on the king of bullshit, Bryce, and I always look pimp. You gotta take me on. Sometimes when I'm out there, I'm the president of this entire franchise. But this isn't a franchise. Exactly, and I ain't the president either. Sometimes the good old family angle works too. Who are they? My brother's kids. Just another piece of artillery for the arsenal. How do I know when I got the right artillery? Well, you can sell a Geo Metro to a full-figured woman. Well, that's some solid advice, B. Solid as a rock. <laughs> Man, washing cars is so whack. Wrong. Washing cars is the first step into my world. Watch me, learn from me, and maybe one day you too can be part of Team Bryce. Guys, quick, he's here! Justin, down! Power me down! Let's go, let's Alyssa, go. get on the floor! He's on the stairs! Let's go! Fuck you, Bryce. Woo! Keep your mouth shut! Asshole! Here he comes, guys! Here he comes! Get down on the ground! I said get down on the ground, motherfucker! Oh, I'm down. Doesn't get much lower than this. Don't fuck with me, asshole! Give me the money from the safe! And when you're done, come over here and caress my balls! For fuck's sakes, Bryce, I'm not in the mood. Oh, shit. How'd you know it was me? Was it my voice? Sabrina left me, man. For Christ's sake. Sabrina. Sabrina. That's a brunette, right? I'm just kidding, buddy. That's unfortunate. You guys made a cute couple. You hated her. It was those eyes, man. They were cold and piercing, like Stalin and Hitler combined. Now's not the time. I'm sorry, and I do apologize. That was a bit extreme. But to be honest, I'm glad it's over. Glad? The bitch was like Darth Vader, man. She would choke you from across the city if she thought you were up to something. No, man. She had her act together. I'm the one who screwed things up. Are you kidding me? Are you forgetting the barbecue last summer? That was different. Dude, you smoked a joint and she held an intervention the next day. She sees marijuana as a gateway drug. Am I not your bro? Am I not your bro? And I always tell you the truth, right? Dude, the bitch is a fucking square, and you're like a rhombus, and you guys are trying to fit together, and it just wasn't happening. She called me a sleazeball. A sleazeball used car salesman. See, that really pushes my buttons. 
We're the single most misrepresented, least understood profession in the entire country. Maybe the whole goddamn planet. But I don't want to be a sleazeball used car salesman. I'm tired of lying to people. Like last week. We sold a car that was a Pontiac in the front and a Cadillac in the back. But did we lie? Did we actually lie, Kevin? If you look up hybrid in the dictionary, you know what you're gonna find? Two separate entities fused together to become one single unit. Hybrid. That car was trash and you know it. You never trash what you can cash. One man's trash is another man's treasure. I could keep doing this all day, baby. No, you can't. I'm just saying I could. I really wish you wouldn't. I won't, but I will if I have to. I don't think you will. Harvey, you really need to take a read of this. It's gonna help with your sales. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Bryce. Ready to lose hot gun of the month again? Keep dreaming, Jordan. You'll never beat the Bryce. You need a reality check. There's a new face on the wall. I was sick for two days last month. That's what put you over the top. You'll never beat a healthy Bryce. Well, if you care to remember, I took a whole week off last month. I could afford a little relaxation time. That's right, little man, walk away. And what kind of man goes to the spa anyway? A leading man. That's who. God, I hate that guy. Today's the day I get my face back up on this wall. I need all of Team Bryce working together. Kevin, are you with me on this one, buddy? That's why you summoned me here? That stupid award? It's not stupid. You don't even get a bonus. Just a bad picture and a cheap frame. And besides, Jordan's too far ahead of you. You're never gonna catch him. There's that word again, never. I've been hearing a heck of a lot of it around here lately. It's beginning to royally piss me off. Meeting Harv. Busy, Bryce. Whatever it is, it can wait. Come on, Kevin. I really need you here. You're the goose to my maverick. All right, man. I'll help you out. But only because I've known you since we're young. Maverick and Goose flying high again. Yeah, but Goose dies, doesn't he? Yes, Joe, that's true. But that's not what we're discussing here, is it? We're talking about teamwork and professionalism. Things that Jordan has no concept of. I'm confused. Does banging fat chicks to sell cars fall under teamwork or professionalism? Oh, you just done the contract, right? You just done the contract? Want that contract, don't you? Mind your tongue! Every one of those women has something special and unique to offer. What? Panties you can resell as car bras? Face it, man. You're a chubby chaser. What the heck is that supposed to mean? For years, I've seen you go after women you don't stand a hope in hell of being with. Like Alyssa. <laughs> Just so you don't have to face the fact that you love banging fat chicks. Like, remember that time you got the job at Additionnel? Big girl store. I was supplementing my income. <laughs> you banged every fat chick that crossed your path. I closed deals. You weren't even on commission. <laughs> so, <laughs> you like the big girls. Gotta hand it to you, man. You gotta have a big dick. I mean a big dick for that kind of action. Now to push past all that fat. <laughs> Me, uh, I got a small dick. Gotta go after the skinny chicks. Morning, like a Lisa. Come on, Joe, you don't have a chance with that. Are you sure about that? I know the secret to picking up any woman. I know the magic. So enlighten us, Joe. How are you gonna finally bag Alyssa? Well, it's all about enticing her. Show her a little bit of skin, and then take it away. Show a little bit more of the goods, and then you take it away. Never give it up too easy, but never give it up either. Put her in her place and everything. Ah, my burrito's ready. Fortunately, I'm a bottomless pit. Good day, gentlemen. Bonjour. I don't think I've ever met a stupider man. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, Kev, come here for a second. Harvey, is this really necessary? Yeah, it is. Look, I got a great sales lead for you on my desk. Just take it if you do this, okay? Come on, we both know you don't have any great sales leads. You haven't sold a car in weeks. I need you to do this. Just knock the chair out from underneath me. It's not gonna happen, Harv. Besides, you got lots to live for. Yeah? 
Like what? Oh, remember the time when we only had 50 cents and uh, we wanted some potato chips? You still managed to get them from the vending machine. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of hungry, Harv, and I only got 50 cents. I sure would like some potato chips. Okay. Only because I like potato chips. If someone were to write a book about my life, the climax would be in your mouth. You are familiar with this word, right? Climax? Yeah, it's a place that Bryce will never take a woman. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ruin another one of the great pickup lines you've got on the internet? One day you'll realize what you're missing. And when that happens, I may not be here anymore. All right, player. And how about tonight, you and I have a romantic evening at your place? <coughs> My place? <coughs> why, don't we, um, why don't we do it at your place? Aw, why not your place? You know, I find it so hot when a guy lives in his mom's basement. It's a totally separate apartment with its own entrance. And you know that. Wow, that's awesome. You know, I'm surprised you even bother with me anymore. Aren't I a little on the skinny side for your liking? <sighs> Hey, Kevin, well, it's a little early for our morning session, isn't it? Yeah, Bryce is all fired up over hot gun. You know, you're only as good as your last month. You know, I gotta tell you, these sales, they don't look good this month. Yeah, that's what happens when you stop caring. Well, go on, I'm intrigued. Uh, I'm just tired of lying to people like I have been. Can this be a salesman with a conscience? That's bad for business, if you ask me. Could be. You know, when I was in school, I used to write all the time. And now you can't spell your name? <laughs> I'm sorry, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. But lately I've been as creative as a telemarketer with a bad script. <laughs> Come on, don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah, I'll try. And thank you. Well, for what? For these little talks we have. I don't know where I'd be without them. Someplace better than this, I hope. <laughs> Think about a minivan. It's phallic. It's a symbol. A symbol of your manhood, really. It's pretty much a sperm count. Fill this bad boy up with babies. Like music? Huh? Oh, yeah. Bet you like to dance, right? I'm a dancer. I can tell by the way you walked in here. You were so... Light on your feet. Come on, I wanna go for a little test drive in this bad boy? Follow me. I think this car is truly you. Really? I don't know. You can't see it? See what? <clears throat> Just ahead. The lineup to the hottest new club. And it looks jumping tonight. Turn up your stereo so everyone could hear your system. Wicked beats. You got me moving, grooving, gonna party on that long at the club, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear it? I think I can. I know you can. Now, close your eyes and feel it. Looking at this car, I mean, it's in my price range and all, but uh, has it had any accidents? Well, it's probably had a few minor fender benders. Let me check it out for you. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, a slab of concrete fell off an overpass and crushed part of the roof. Oh my God! Was anybody hurt? No, no, no. Just uh, a child in the back seat. But, uh, but the engine components weren't affected at all, and uh, it cleaned up good. You can hardly see where it was smashed. You're kidding me. The roof fits on quite nicely now, don't you think? I think I'm going to look around. Thank you. Yeah. So how'd it go out there? Chalk up into the big sale for Team Bryce. <laughs> big sale is right. 
and that's not putting it lightly. Touche, we're creeping up on Jordan. Hot gun, here we come. Hey man, what do you think of Stacy? You Kevin? I've always liked her, but I was with Satan, Sabrina. I'd stay away from her if I were you. She's too goddamn nice. End up falling in love or something worse. Worse? Do I need to spell this out for you? You don't need a girlfriend right now. Right now what you need is Playboy Channel, Monday Night Football, Sports Center. You could double date. You can triple date. You could fucking have a threesome. I don't give a fuck. No guilt. Dude, <laughs> I don't want to marry her. I just want to have dinner with her. See how things go. Silly goose. It starts off innocently enough, right? Hmm? But dinner will turn into sex. Sex will turn into babies. And then she's taking you for half of everything you own. Then BAM! She'll blow up your whole goddamn universe with those fucking laser eyes. You're actually serious, aren't you? I'm dead fucking serious. Nick, neck, patty, whack, give a bitch a bone. Been a few years, now we'll bring it back home. Started in the living room. Justin. I think you missed a spot. Down a little lower. Near the wheel well. A little to the right. Yo, Jordan, what the fuck are you looking at? Uh, nothing? I don't see any dirt, dude. Sorry, my mistake. Asshole. Fresh up, Harv. Go knock him dead. We're just looking. I'll get the keys. We can go for a test drive. We're not here to buy anything. You belong in that car. I want to put you in that car. We're just seeing what's available. Oh, no! Run! <laughs> what happened? Dude, Harvey. I'm just going to put you on hold for one second. Uh, are you going to fire me now, Bryce? No, man, I'm not going to fire you. But I do know you've been in a bit of a slump lately. Yeah. And I think I have something here that may be able to help you. It's helped me get through college. Hey, I had one of those when I was a kid. Whenever you have an important decision, shake the ball. You listen to whatever it says, and you can't go wrong. Put your faith into the ball. I'll scoot and go make some sales. Hey, Mom? Yeah, it was Harvey. Can you just have supper ready for me? Just put it downstairs because I'm going to have a guest over, okay? I don't want her to know you live upstairs. Bryce, you better be home at 9 o'clock. You are only 26. I will. Okay, bye. Always bringing on those hussy with the junk in the trunk. Goddamn kids are on my lawn again. やろう。何するの大丈夫。え、プライスの卵が。プッ。プッじゃない。僕のお友達です。たこやろう。たこじゃない。たこ。お腹すいた。そうですね。たこ焼き食べませんかじゃあ、行きましょうか。はい、行き
Smell of a man, sweet tits. Carbon monoxide doesn't smell, you idiot. Hey, who's a certified mechanic around here? Ah, there's my burrito. I'd share some with you, but, uh, you've been looking a little bit bloated lately. You might want to try that old-fashioned finger diet. <coughs> oh, fuck you, Joe. I love you too, baby. Prick. So what do you think? Has it been certified? Certified? This is the car that set the standard in automotive safety. This is the car that made the crash test dummy obsolete. They don't even use them anymore. They just use real people now. Uh, what he's trying to say is that this car is so safe they could use real people to test it, but they don't. That was a joke. <laughs> oh, ha. Ah. And it is certified by our mechanic. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin, for that attempted translation. But what I was really trying to say is if you drove this car full speed into the front of an oncoming transport truck, you'd walk away in one piece. Why? Because the body is reinforced titanium exoskeleton. I think Wolverine. Actually, uh, Bryce, that's not entirely correct. The body's made of steel with reinforced titanium screws. Which is exactly what I just said. The point is, this car is strong, it's safe, and you won't find a more reliable car for this great low price. Can I talk to your mechanic? Of course you can. At the moment, though, he's busy. You know so what? I Let me go get him for you. Yeah. <laughs> he's just going to go grab him for you. Joe, I need you over here for a minute. Yep. Bruised like a kitten. Everything looks great. She's good to go. Are you sure? 100 percent. I've been doing this job for over five years, lady. What about the smoke? Oh, that's nothing. She just hasn't been turned over in a while. Isn't that right? Go ahead. Take it in. That is totally organic fume. That stuff will probably settle right back into the soil. It's all about saccalation. Yes. <laughs> I really don't think so. What Cho's trying to say here is if you're environmentally conscious, this car's for you. I sold Ford just this month for that very same reason. David Suzuki swears by them. He won't drive anything else. Really? Ma'am, I'm going to have to stop you right there. I just noticed that marvelous, marvelous purse. May I ask where you purchased it? Bloomingdale's. The pattern is amazing. The color palette. Bueno. My wife would love something like that for her birthday. It's just around the corner. You're married? Yes, ma'am. Little Zachariah turned nine just this month. He's absolutely adorable. No, he's absolutely priceless. Step into my office here. <laughs> Okay, Marilyn, give yourself a great day, okay? <laughs> Enjoy the car. <laughs> <laughs> now get out of here, you old scoop. Congratulations. We just successfully sold yet another piece of shit. Yes, we did. Can't believe she gave me your purse. My wife is going to love it. <laughs> You're such an asshole. But for real, man, what happened to you today out there? Well, besides ripping off that old lady? You almost blew the pitch with that whole goody-goody routine. I told you, man, I'm not going to do it anymore. I don't want to lie. Why not, man? You're so good at it, so focused. I'm going to hell. What are you talking about, man? We tag-teamed that bitch and offloaded a lemon. Good cop, bad cop, just like old times. Who cares if you go to hell? We'll burn together, all right? Right? Come on. Uh, just for clarification, did we just high-five because we made a sale or because we're both going to hell? A little calm, a little calm, B. Yeah, thanks for that.
morning, Ross Rogers. How may I help you? Jockey! Yes, one moment, please. You're lost. There's a bunch of sticky shit all over the front seat. Clean it up. Don't be stingy with the soap. Use that industrial shit, all right? You got it, boss. All right, listen up. We've got a lot of cars out there that have been sitting on this lot for far too long. All right, you call yourself salesman. You want me to get out there and hold your fucking hands, is that it? What about Black Beauty? She's still out there. You know, in my day, those cars were panty removers. Why can't you guys move it? It's a piece of shit and no one wants it. It's too big and it's too loud. It's a muscle car. It's supposed to be loud. Sell the damn car, Bryce. Gotta be a fat girl out there who needs a car that big. Find her, fuck her. Sell her the car. All right, we got a lot of great new additions this week. Let's talk about it in my fucking office. Gotta get these shoes out. My feet are killing me. So are we gonna meet her target or not? Probably not. Jesus Christ, pass me those papers. Sir, our overhead is... Monkey shit! Where's all the money gone? Are you skimming? No, I don't know how... You've all been slacking. You're all a bunch of assholes. What kind of numbers are these? Ross, with all due respect, we're not assholes. Come on. With all due respect, Bryce, plenty of fat women are stepping on this lot every goddamn day. What are you doing about it? It's not bad enough that I got a bunch of asshole slackers working for me. Now I got Joe Bob's dealership up the street fucking me in the ass. You know I see his fat face everywhere I go. It's everywhere. It's like the fucking moon. You know why? Have you got any idea? He advertises. Anybody here know anything about advertising? Marketing? Yeah, yeah, I do. Anybody else? Because I've decided to make a commercial for local TV. It's going to be something nice. We'll get some good press. We'll put a kid in it. Sick, handicapped, a retard. We're going to beat Joe Bob at his own fucking game and get back on top. Sound like fun or what? Ross, I just really don't think a commercial is what we need right now. Don't worry, Bryce. I'll make you head of casting. I'll even let you bring a fat girl into it. As long as she's in a wheelchair. You know, Ross, since I am your number one salesman, I think I should be in the commercial. It's a great idea. You and a retard kid, it's perfect. Ross, are you serious? It's my face on that wall, month after month. I should be in that commercial, not him. All right, boys, don't get your balls in a knot. Whoever wins this month's hot gun's gonna start in the commercial, all right? Look at it as a sales incentive. Look, he got to the end of the day. Let's sell some fucking cars, let's go. I can't believe I'm gonna lose my leadership role to that smug idiot. He's not all that bad. He's right, Bryce. It won't be that bad working for me. Fuck you, Jordan, the hobbit you rode in on, okay? No amount of fat chicks will save you this time, Bryce. No one comes between me and Hawkeye. You got that rookie. Yeah, man, I'm right here. See you from the winner's circle, fat boy. Curvaceous women, not fat chicks, asshole. God damn it, I hate that guy. I know you do, man. It really gets under my rim. Yo, 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 it's J.T. Aston Justin, and I'm here at Ross Rogers Used Cars, where I'm known as the jockey who washes the cars, but will one day sell the cars, just like my main man, Bryce. Yo, Bryce, tell me that old school story one more time. I remember a time this guy came out, looked all like a bum, you know, it didn't look like he had any money. So I go up there with my smoothness and I'm talking to him. He's like, I'll take seven of those. I'm like, seven of these trucks? He's like, yeah, I'll take seven of those trucks. So I gave him seven trucks. He bought me one as a little present. He's like, here you go, Bryce. That's a nice little gift for you. I made a commission of eight trucks. And the moral of the story, never judge a book by its cover. No matter how bummy a man looks, sell him a car. Bam. Yo, Kev, what are some good tips on being a used car salesman? Justin, buddy. The first thing you gotta do is ask yourself a few questions. First of all, why do you wanna do this job, man? You got Ross the boss, the ass. You've got tons of cars on this lot, never moving. Well, why do you wanna do it? You're a little gangster, man. You're, you're the hipster boy. 
Why don't you go into law? Study marketing. What do you like about cars? Just buy a car. Drive away. That's what I'm doing. You're gonna love it. If you don't take this car today, I'm gonna take it home myself. I don't know. Looks pretty old to only have 20,000 miles on it. That's right, sir. Good eye. We did put a new engine in, top of the line. It's gonna last you a lifetime. You know what? We're lying, okay? <laughs> it's got like 200,000 miles on it. We rolled back the odometer. <laughs> and you know what else? <laughs> it was stolen. We found it on the side of the road, ditched. Got there before the cops did. <laughs> there were probably four dead bodies in the trunk. I don't know. <laughs> Wacky guy here, my associate. <laughs> Jeez, kind of cracks me up. Kills me, really. But I have to agree with him. There is ample trunk space. You sons of bitches! Why don't you go somewhere else? Quick, before someone else tries to sell you one of these death traps! That's it, honey. I'm kicking this guy's ass! Not in front of the baby. <clears throat> Fine! You're lucky my son's here. What the fuck is the matter with you, man? Are you losing your fucking mind? Huh? Why are you fucking on my shit? Are you working for Jordan now? Is that what's going on? Are you some sort of fucking double agent? Huh? <laughs> I feel great. Couldn't hold it in any longer. You know what? You should try telling the truth for a change. <laughs> Fuck Kevin. Hi! Harvey, got this one? Shit. Knock him dead, big guy. I don't know, it's just been a little rough lately. Every time a, you know, a V-back comes around, it just turns into another stroker. And... I get a decent looking fresh up, and it's just another tire kicker. And, and then when a tire kicker actually turns into be a good looking fresh up, uh, one of these guys skates in on me, and it's. It, uh, you don't leave me alone, I'm talk. Is it fast? My sources say no. Fuck speed. I did enough of that in college. Speed makes you do fucking crazy things. Is this gonna get me through the winter? That's important to me, because I don't want to take no bus, man. That's where all the crazy people are. Uh, yes. That's all that counts. Mm. She'd be like a good woman. Get you through the winter. You ditch her in the summer. Am I right, my man? Yes, definitely. My man. You know what? You know what? I like you and your little plastic ball. You know what? We really should just go in, finish the paperwork, and get you on your way. How about that? Come on. Yeah. You know what, man? No. No. But like I said, I like you. Hey, Jordan. Come here for a second, buddy. You got to kick this chair out from underneath me. If you do it, I got a really great... Oh, 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 oh. Should I get someone else to do this? Oh, oh I, I hate friggin' guns and I'm afraid of heights. What should I do? Damn it, why won't you tell me something that'll help me? Do you even work? Prove it! Is my name Dean? Is it Harvey? Oh. I'm sorry for doubting you. Oh. Ross! Where's my fucking money? Yes, Bubba the Jet, I'll get your money soon. I'll get your money. Ross! You just ruined my fucking workout! I think you ruined my fucking pump. I'll get your money. I want the money today. Otherwise, I'm going to come over there, surround it off your face, fuck you in the ass until you puked up yesterday's supper. You have until the end of the fucking day, Ross. No problem. I'll get your money. Just give me a little time, all right? You fucking son of a fucking bitch! <laughs> You know what, 
nobody's nobody nobody knows how to sell a fucking car anymore. You know, they're on the internet punching the little buttons. Fuck that bullshit. This is the real deal, okay? Like in my day, that's what I did. I was selling a car a day, a car a fucking day. These fucking jokers. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. It's fucked. You know what kind of shit I used to do? You know what kind of numbers I used to do? Hmm? You don't even want to hear about it. It's fucking amateurs. Training fucking puppies over here. It's fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. And what are, what, what are you doing? Are you gonna wash your cars or what? We've got a little bit of a cash crunch right now. There's obviously something wrong with these books. I ain't training fancy math like you are, but I can plus and minus with the best of them. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, sir, but are you referring to all the minuses on the balance sheet? Forget about the minuses. I want to know where you've been hiding the money. Hiding the money? Yeah, you know, offshore accounts, things like that. I don't know what you're talking about. So someone's stealing from me? Nobody's stealing from you. The dealership is losing money. Yeah, because you're not hiding any of it. What the hell did I hire you for? To do accounting. Yeah, and that's what accounts do. They hide money. I watch movies. But uh, I don't know how to hide money. For God's sake, go and read a book or something about it. Come here, Chester. Now, the key to sales is knowing what people want. Me? I know what people want. I take those wants and I translate them. I put them into a vehicle, like a minivan, perhaps. An SUV, doesn't matter what it is. You also have to have style. You have to be cool. You have to be slick. Now, if you can get those components, you're gonna do a good job, Justin. And if you need any help, you come to me. I'll help you. You know, I'm not sure if this car is for me. I mean, I like it. But the price, it's just, it's a little too high. Okay, what's your main criteria for buying a car? Well, reliability, definitely. Then this is your car. I call it old reliable. Where my parents are from, it's full of civil unrest. One day you wake up, some rogue armies invading your quaint little farm. This is the same car that drove my father and my pregnant mother to freedom. But before it did, the engine took a boat. It was reduced to three cylinders, and it still had enough power to take down three enemy soldiers. Murders, really. If it wasn't for this car, I wouldn't be here today. This car's like a best friend. You really think this car's for me? I do. Well, let's go inside and fill out the paperwork. And I'll see what I can do about the price. What's going on, Bryce? Where's your head at? I need you out there and you're killing me. I can't lie to people anymore. I hate this job. I can't do it. I won't. So what about Team Bryce? Who's gonna help me sell cars with faulty brakes and bad body work? That's just it. I've traded my dreams for a piss pot full of lies. Dreams? What dreams? Am I in your dreams, Kevin? No, you're not in my dreams. I want to be a children's novelist. <laughs> a children's novelist? What are you, some sort of diddler? No, I'm not a diddler. Wait, what the fuck's a diddler? A diddler diddles little children. <laughs> You're joking, right? What are you gonna, touch them? Lure them into your van with candy? Do whatever it is you people do? Leave their bodies for dead? What the hell's wrong with you? I call 911, I swear to Christ. I'm your friend and I'm here to help you. I don't need your help. I think you do. All right, everyone, gather around, bring it in. Kevin's got an announcement to make. What are you doing? I, I don't want to tell people yet. You want to be a children's novelist, but you can't tell your friends that work about your dream? Okay, guys, it's a sad day at work today. Kevin has decided to leave us so he can pursue his dream of becoming a children's novelist. You're a diddler, Kevin. 
No, I'm not a diddler. Because I don't care what you do in the privacy of your own home. No diddling on my lot. You didn't diddle my daughter, did you? No, I didn't diddle your daughter. Oh, God. This is crazy. What's wrong with you people? What's wrong with us? You're the diddler. Happy now? How's it feel coming clean? I heard what they were saying out there. Great. I suppose you're gonna make some diddler comments too. Not really. But I think it's the right thing to do, Kevin. Get out of this place. Go pursue your dreams. Really? Yeah, I mean, you gotta write. This place will kill you. Yeah, but I just can't seem to get started. Just like my art. You're an artist? <laughs> I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, maybe sometime we could go for a beer or something. Then maybe I'd feel like talking about it. <laughs> You're gonna pity fuck me, aren't you? Are you ready for the best blowjob of your life? <gasps> This'll take your mind off selling cars for a while. <laughs> No, God, I just want to go for a beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just a beer it is then. Oh, just to let you know, I'm not against petty fucking. Now get out of here before you blow your chances. You're not getting the house or the car, you spineless shit, Harvey. Okay, okay, um, I'll, t I'll trade you the house and the car if you just give me the dog. Uh, just give me Rufus. Is that it? Do you have anything else you want to say to me? Or are you just gonna sit there with your dick in your hand like every other time? Mm, God damn. Check out those dirties. The female ass is the most finest of specimen we I hate women. They just ruined my life. Yo, yo, how can you not like women? What are you, some kind of homo? Check this out, man. Damn. Hey, Joe. Come here. What's going on, Jordan? So where the hotties go? Joe, my friend. Hey, get your hands okay, off me. Okay, okay, okay. You see that car over there Bryce is trying to sell? Yeah. There's something in the glove compartment that I think you'll enjoy. Go see. What's your name? Mikey. Yeah, I know this guy's gonna grow up to be a sure-footed young lad. Which reminds me, it's a perfect way to describe this vehicle. Sure-footed. It's beautiful. Joe. Christ sakes. Hey. Check out the cans on this one. Joe, what are you? I'm sorry. Hey, uh, yours ain't so bad there either, lady. Oh. Joe, you stupid idiot. Pig. What? What'd I do? figured out why I'm so depressed. It's me and women. We don't mix. So you're gay now, is that it? It would appear so. Harv, you can't just up and be gay because of one failed marriage. I don't think it works that way. I didn't just decide it. It was the magic eight ball that told me. Harv, you're using this for nefarious purposes. 
Do you have a problem with my sexual orientation? No, but you're not gay. You just look like a freaking tranny. That is discrimination. Oh, at least I'm here to help you through your transformation, Harv. You know Bryce doesn't care. Remember, it was me, not him, who was there to kick the chair. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? And I'll never forget you for that, Jordan. And Harv, if you need a new sales partner, I'm your man. Jesus Christ, how long have they listened to this crap for? I think I do need a change. I'm a new me. Harv, what exactly are you trying to say? Spit it out. Well, after much consideration, Bryce, I've decided to leave you. What about the team? The team? I just switch teams. No fucking kidding. Hi, nice to see you again. How are you enjoying the vehicle? Enjoying? Is that what you call it? When the back end of my car falls off halfway down a hill? Where's Bryce? I don't understand. What's not to understand? The back half of my car fell off, Einstein. Well, that's not something you see every day. I'll do my best to rectify the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, just don't use the same crazy glue you did last time. Okay, uh, I'll go speak to my boss. I'll be right back, mm -hmm. all right? Ross, I need you to do a refund. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. No fucking refunds! I think this particular situation warrants a little customer service. One rotten apple will spoil the whole barrel. You know what? You can take your apples and your barrels, you can stick them up your ass if you'd like. We do not do refunds around here. Busting balls is what we do. Now get the fuck out there and sell some cars! Let's go! Asshole. Fucking pissant. Did you stop anywhere? What? You're questioning me? No, I'm just saying maybe you parked, someone could have hit you. You guys just made a big mistake, jerk. Okay, you have yourself a great date, bitch. Where'd she go? Oh, she just left. It went well. She's very happy. Damn it, Bryce. How can I ever trust you? Nobody ever leaves here happy. I seem to remember a time when you used to trust me. <laughs> huh? Let's pick on someone your own size. Who the hell are you, super loser? I'm your worst nightmare. Are you ready to dance, little man? Uh, I don't quite remember it that way. Didn't they shove your head in the trash can for trying to help me? Why the fuck are you guys standing around? Where are the numbers? <clears throat> right here. Fucking amateurs! Come on, let's go. Okay, what is this? Okay, what is it about? My tactics? Is that it? They're a bit outdated or a little old school? It's not about your tactics. Why don't you trust me anymore? I just want to do something good with my life. It's a pile of crap right now. This doesn't have anything to do with trust. It has everything to do with trust. Okay, I'll tell you what. I bet that if you bet the opposite of what Ross does, you'll win for sure. The opposite of what Ross does? Okay, I'll show you, okay? Ross. Yeah, yeah, I was just wondering, uh, who are you betting on tonight? The Mavericks, huh? Okay, no. Who are they playing? <laughs> no, that's perfect, thanks. Okay, Kevin, tonight you'll be betting on the Lakers to win. What the hell does that have to do with anything? It has to do with reestablishing our trust. You don't trust me anymore, even though I'm giving you good money making advice. Call my bookie, he's great, okay? I'm not calling your bookie. All right, I'll do it for you then. Bryce, no, you won't. I don't want you calling any bookie. Hey, Johnny, 
Yeah, what's going on? I was just wondering, can I put uh, the regular amount on the Lakers tonight? <laughs> yeah, I said it's not for me. It's for my best friend Kevin here. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I am a good friend. No, that's perfect. Thanks. Bye. Done. Kevin, Stacy needs you. I guess I'll just talk to you later then, yeah, Kev? Hello? Hey, remember I sold you that hatchback earlier? <laughs> and in consumer news, Ross Rogers used hey, cars was voted the worst dealership in the Tri Counties. We'll be speaking with a woman who claims she bought a car that broke in half while she was driving it. Salesman Bryce Van Trowski and Kevin Gates were on a. You are just like everybody else. A big fat liar. No, wait. Let me explain. You were just trying to get in my pants like Bryce did. Bryce got in your pants? That doesn't matter, okay? He's a prick and you're the same. What did I do? You lied to me. What? I have been on the phone all day with some jerk off insurance guy. Never mind the fucking radio, okay? You sold a car to a woman that broke in half and you refused to give her a refund? No, 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 wait. That wasn't my fault. Of course to... it wasn't your fault. It's never anyone's fault here. She knows people, okay? Big people. <laughs> what? You think this is funny? No, but what are you getting mad at me for? You know how this place operates. I expected better from you. You're one to talk. Seems like you've banged everyone else around here but me. That's right, Kevin. I fucked every guy here but you. You just weren't good enough. <sighs> With Harvey defected to Jordan's team, we gotta get out there and sell some cars, man. I ain't losing this again. Go sell your own cars. I got my own problems to deal with. And why didn't you tell me about Stacy? What are you talking about? A cock popping dog diddling son of a bitch! Losing everyone. Fuck! So this is the style of car that's really coming back. Um, and every, everyone wants this style. Uh, she wants this style. So, trust me, I, I wouldn't lie to you about that. I don't know, kiddo, what do you think? Listen, can we have a minute to talk about this? Yeah, sure, whatever you want, take your time. I don't know, it's it's pretty ugly. Different. But you know those gay guys really have style, and that's what I'm looking for. So I think we should take it. Alright, well, there you go. <laughs> She's a wild one. <laughs> Good luck. Good work, Harv. All you needed was a change of scenery. You're right again, Jordan. With the Bryce monkey off your back, you're free to succeed and fail on your own terms. I'm proud of you. Now, do you want to help me get back at those two? I'm all ears. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, I need to beat him by any means necessary. Don't drag me into it. This competition thing has fried your brain. He's not the enemy. In fact, he's just like you. Whoa, 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 hold up, okay? First of all, competition is necessary. Sun Tzu, the art of war. The hero must always have an enemy. And I suppose in this scenario, you're the hero. Naturally. Kev, all I want you to do is help me till the end of the day. Do it your way if you want. That's all I'm asking. The rent is due. Thanks. So, ma'am, did you see any cars out there that might have piqued your interest? Uh, perhaps a minivan? Are you a family type of person? Sports car, like going fast? Miss? 
I like your shoes. Thank you. Are they Prada? How did you know? You've got amazing style. It was only obvious. I've got an SUV that would suit your style perfectly. Really? Low mileage too. I think I'll look around a little more. Are you kidding me? I thought we, I thought we looked at... Fucking troll. Yo, Bryce, what's wrong? Looks like you're about to go postal. It's Jordan. He's nailed every single sale he's had today, now he's skating on mine. Damn it, man, that's good style. I don't know how he does it. It's like he's got goddamn superpowers. You know he's gay, right? Jordan. Jordan's... I must have missed that. Well, women do love the gay guys, and well, Jordan does have that wicked flow. Son of a bitch! Even though he's an asshole, he likes to wash and wash cars. And that's the one niche I've cornered. Women! Okay. He wants to start stealing my sales team and skating on my customers with this stylish gayness. Then it's time for Bryce to start fighting. Dirty. Yo, Bryce, you know you're talking in third person, right? Yeah. Let's go. Well, I guess you spilled the beans. What appear to be ain't what it seems. So there's a new me and an old you. So I'm leaving you. I don't owe you shit. Bitch, get off my dick. So you want to tell your friends you ain't my bitch. So I'm packing my shit and my keys. Got my kid and my G's. Now you wanna run back, please. You ain't doing what you're supposed to do. So I had to find out that you bogus, boo. First you wanna stay, now you wanna leave. So you wanna go, now you wanna breathe. Excuse me, are you okay? Oh man, I care. Thank you, uh, Bryce, was it? Yes, Jesus, Jordan, your chair. Are you sure you're okay, ma'am? No, I'm not okay. I I think I'll be doing it. I just wish there was something I could do for you. Perhaps take this SUV over here and take two grand off of it? Well played. Mm -hmm. Let's make a deal. Follow me. Hey, I'm looking for Ross Rogers. What the fuck do you want? Someone to see you. Ah! Hey, you think you can have the bottom of the gun? Oh, Where's the money? God. I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking for Bryce and Kevin. That's us, Sam Brown. Can I have a couple words with you two? Sir, have a seat there. So, what's this all about? I'll explain everything in a moment. But first, I like to play a little word game. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Gay. Anal explorer. No, fudge packer. Bareback mountain. I love this game. Hey, Sam, what's this all about? A charge of sexual harassment has been leveled against you two. What? You're joking, right? No. And from the sound of your responses, I'm not at all surprised. I have to be honest. This is coming way out of left field for us. Someone's pegged you for sensitivity training. What? A complaint filed by Harvey Johnson. Harvey ain't no fudge packer. It's a stupid eight ball I gave him. He's such a retard, he can't make his own decisions. What, what are you jotting down there? Fudge packer. You said fudge packer two times. Yeah? Uh, don't forget retard as well. Thank you. Well, it looks as if you two are going to lose your dealer's license. <laughs> no. I'll take care of this, okay? I'll just make a quick phone call. I was a good guy. Yes, Bryce? Hey, Harv. Yeah, can you come over here and tell this guy you haven't been sexually... <laughs> All right, it looks like you two are going to be out of commission for a while. Is your employer around? I think he's with a customer. No! No! Uh, uh, uh. Come on, man. There's got to be some way we can sort this out. You can't take away my license. Not today of all days. This is my livelihood. How about community service? 
Yeah, that's a great idea. We're actually shooting a commercial today and there's like a, a retard with a wheelchair and stuff. Man, come on, that's gotta count for something. There's that word again. What word? I know, I know. We could put Harvey in the commercial. Show how we embrace the gay community. Embrace all walks of life. I'm supposed to be in that commercial? That is a really good idea. But it's up to Harvey. Bryce, why don't you call him back and ask him? <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's, yeah. You want, you want to dial it to you? <laughs> Take the lips. Thanks a lot, Sam. I tell everyone, you're the best community theater actor around. Anytime, Jordy. You owe me dinner and a movie. You got till 10 o'clock to get Bob's money. And don't think about skipping town. Okay. Ross? Are you okay? Stacy, what do you know about insurance? Better set fire to this place. Buy me some time. I don't think we have any insurance. Shit! Go up and tell those assholes to sell some cars. Pronto. Dude, she's gotta be fast. I'm kind of a speed freak. This puppy's like a rocket. You won't believe it, man. Yeah, dude? Totally, dude. Oh, we'll start her up. I wanna hear this kitten purr. Sure thing. You hear that? That's a lot of horses under there. Go, Red. We're gonna turn this puppy off. I don't wanna scare the people. There's children in the neighborhood. Kind of like a pedophile in a child's closet. Scary. Dude, you've been sucking on too many tailpipes. How do you sell shit like this? Uh, no remorse. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yo, Bryce, looking pretty slow right now. I hate to say it, but that hot gun's getting further and further away from you. I know. I gotta do something to set things straight, shake things up a bit. Tell me again, why are we going on this field trip? I know I put a lot of pressure on you guys. I've neglected your feelings. I really want to show my appreciation and apologize and just buy you guys a drink. Whew, I could use one of those. Finally, someone's using his brain. Look, Kev, about that discrimination stuff, I really am sorry. OK, are we all right? Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. All right, great. Harv, what about me? You know, for a car salesman, you sure drive a piece of shit. You know this is my mom's. Maybe you get your mom a better car. Is that on your tab, sweetie? That'd be great. Thanks, hon. You're welcome. I thought we were going for drinks. What are we doing in a peeler bar? Having a drink. This is where men come to bond. Lift their spirits. I don't know, boys, this doesn't really look like my scene. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Our next two guests have been leading us the stage for years. Let's give it up for Frank with the drill and Angelo the hammer. For God's sakes, Bryce, what's wrong with you? I'm trying to show you guys something. This is going to be your future. You want to be a children's novelist? You're going to end up in jail with a bunch of sexually frustrated and murderers. You are. You want that? You see that big cop? We're going to have all of that. A whole big pile of cop. I don't think he's listening to you, Bryce. And frankly, I don't want to listen to you either. I'm doing this because I care. What makes you think if I start writing children's novels, I'm going to start frequenting gay bars and fondling children? Bryce! You've known me my whole life, only I don't think you know me at all. Kevin, where are you going? Do some deadly. Excuse me, Franco. How are you? Fine. What do you want? 
I just thought, you know, we could go out sometime, maybe get a drink. <laughs> Did you hear that, Angelo? This geezer just made a pass at me. I heard, I heard. Hey, dude, let me give you some advice. Maybe you should stick to someone in your own league. <laughs> uh, what a weirdo. Oh, it takes all kinds of <laughs> Take it, the trip didn't go well. No, no, it didn't. Justin, it's time for you to step up and do me a favor. Anything you want, I'm there for you, B. You know what you have to do? Operation Distract Jordan. It's time for you to suit up and watch those cars. Well, I'll piss off. Stop playing games with me, Alyssa. You want something from good old Joe? Why don't you just ask? I want you to die. Is that all? Seems our hidden passion has been too much pressure on you lately. Why don't we get to know each other a little bit better? What do you like to do in your spare time? I like to throw darts at your picture, okay? Come on, you must have some other interests. Go ahead. Joe. No. Okay? I have nothing. I do nothing. I'm completely boring. Really glad we had this chat. Uh, let's really put things into perspective. Joe is a man of many cultures and interests. And while, uh, God damn, you are good looking, uh, I could never do you. What? You would be lucky to find someone at all. You're wrong, baby. It's you who has to dress in black all the time in order to look slim and yet... You still look bloated. <laughs> there are lots of guys interested in me. Plenty. Tons. Bloated? I kinda doubt that. Oh. 
I want to go out with you tonight. What? Yeah, I'm looking for Bryce. Yeah, you see. In fact, you. let's make out right now. If you ever want this again, you better give it to me right now. <laughs> Maybe next time. Hi, thanks for coming down such short notice. We got that blue hatchback outside here. Lovely color, amazing trunk. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> These are some pretty good numbers, people. We really pulled ourselves up at the end of the night. Still not enough. Fuck, let's just set up the camera and get this thing going. So who won hot gun? Isn't it obvious? Shut up, ass licker. Hot gun of the month went to Kevin. Big fucking surprise. But just bring in the retard and get this bitch going. But how could I have lost? How could I have won? I want to recount. No, these numbers don't lie. Kevin won fair and square by one sale at the end of the night. Way to go, Kev. Thanks. I think. Alyssa, cue cards. Camera, ready to roll. Rolling. All right. Everyone knows their lines. And action! Looking for a new used car? Why pay full price? Come on down to Ross Rogers Used Cars, because we've got killer prices on every car in the lot. At Ross Rogers, used cars aren't the only things we know. We also know community. Isn't that right, Harvey? That's right, Kevin. Ross Rogers embraces all walks of life. When I got hit by that car, Ross Rogers picked up my limb and body and walked miles to the hospital. He saved my life. Wait a minute. This isn't in the script. Shut up, Kevin. The kid's a fucking natural. Keep it rolling. No, Ross. I'm not gonna shut up. You're manipulating this kid. Can't you see he's exploiting you? Fuck off, jerkwad. I'm getting paid. <laughs> Harvey, don't you realize he's using you too? I mean, come on. This is bullshit. I'm not gonna do this, Ross. I'm out of here. Fine, you're fired. I never liked you anyway, hot gun or not, asshole. Kev, where are you going? Bryce, the next time you want to bring one of your friends into the fold, make sure he's not a crybaby diddler. Jordan, get your ass over here. You're taking over for Kevin. <gasps> Eat my dust, has been. It's all yours, asshole. Shitty rule anyway. Come on, let's get this thing rolling. How do I look? And action. <sighs> Looking for a new music. What's the matter, baby? <sighs> Nothing. It's just this place it makes me crazy. <clears throat> just go away. Haven't you said enough already? Alyssa, you don't have to hide your feelings from me anymore. Is that what you really want? Yes. Is that the truth? Yes. I hate you. Do you? Yes, I hate you. Do you really? Fuck it. Got me through a lot of tough times, buddy. I'm not sure about this one, though. Kevin's my best friend, and I really screwed up. You know what else? I like big girls. I like big girls. I like big girls! There. I said it. Hey, mister. I could have told you that. Harvey, what are you doing out here? I've been out here once or twice, you know, just to think. I really learn a lot from a guy like you, Harvey. Whatever you decide to do in your life, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. But I still don't think you're gay. <laughs> oh, man. You know, you're a good guy, Bryce. And the fact that you care actually does mean a lot to me. No sweat, man. Now, give me my eight ball. Yeah, sure. Get out of here and go get your best friend back. Big lug. Whew. 
Okay. This is it, man. Last chance. Is it still my time to go? Oh, thank God. Whew. I didn't want to die in these pants anyway. Chief my prick. Oh. Are you gonna say goodbye? Um, kind of in a rush. You're finally free. You're the psychiatrist. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna write. I thought you couldn't get started. I'm cured. An idea occurred to me today, and I think it's really gonna work. I'd love to hear about it. Okay. Well, it's kind of a take on how the leopard gets its spots. In the end, it finally realizes that by lying to the other animals, it was really lying to itself. Not bad. But you know, Kevin, you're forgetting someone in all this. Who's that? Your best friend. Bryce? He's been the source of all my frustration. Are you sure about that? Or has he really been helping you out this whole time? I mean, he got you to this point, didn't he? That's deep. I wouldn't be surprised if he came chasing after you. So you think I should give him a second chance? I'm giving you one. I told you so. <laughs> I thought you left already, man. Nope, not yet. You pissed about the hot gun? You can't win them all, right? It's always next month. So you can shake my hand or what? Nah, I'll do you one better. Come here. And you know what else? Jordan's one big flaming mo. He's a really good sales associate. We should be working together, not against each other. I've been replaced already? Never, man. <laughs> Gonna miss you. I miss you. Boys, a rough kid. Yo, you two are done with all that huggy, kissy bullshit. I think the boss is losing it in there. Something about Bobby the John coming to get him. Fuck! Don't worry about that, man. Justin, it's time for you to step up into my world. Effective immediately. I'm making you my brand new junior sales associate. Yo, Bryce, you're not kidding me? Find another sucker to wash these cars. You're the best, man. Won't let you down, B. I know you won't, kiddo. Guys. Bryce, you're in charge. Look, don't try to contact me. And don't try to find me. What the hell's going on here, Ross? Bobby the John is what? Justin, get me a car. Yo, fuck that. Bryce just made me a salesman. You little fucking prick. Shit, it's too late. Oh my god. Which one of you is Kevin? Wait, 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 wait! This place belongs to Bobby the John now. You all work for me. Stacy, want those numbers on my desk every Monday morning. just happened. See, I told you, bet on the opposite of Ross and you're bound to win. What am I supposed to do with this? Whatever the hell you want, man. Go home for a while. Write that book for God's sakes. But when you're done, I'm gonna be your manager. You're volunteering to manage me? For a small percentage of your fees. <laughs> Looks like Joe finally bagged Alyssa. Lucky prick. Son of a bitch! <laughs> well, uh, guess all's well that ends well. Let's go grab a beer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. From the day I was born, I've been around. I know what's up and I know what's down. Tell me what did you think? I wouldn't find out about your plan for me. It's over, baby. I know what you're really about. Cause I've been used. Whoa. 
Slow.